Hello hockey, basketball, and soccer fans. My name is David. Thought I would start this video at 1.57 on the morning of uh, Tuesday, 20th of February, 2024, North American Eastern Time. Thought I would do is uh, to uh, respond to the claims made on the recent episode of Canucks After Dark. Uh, just have the volume on mute. And uh, about... Uh, a suggestion by you know wise guys person named Tyler, who claimed the Canucks were gonna were en route to missing the 2024 NHL postseason. Yes, the others have been kind of unstable a little bit here. But when it comes to the latest NHL standings, I mean, I mean the others do have. I mean they I think they do have. I mean yes they have their yet scoring issue they 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 have in the first week. But, I mean, so far, they seem to have left behind. Well, let's see what happens. The Oilers have won two straight games and have a record of, um, and have put up 14 points over the last 10 games. The Canucks have put up 12 and have lost two straight, both in regulation. The Leafs are on a roll. And, uh, uh having won four straight, and won uh, and put up eight po uh, four, 16 points out of the possible 20 in the last 10. If the apps of Morgan Riley, very important. And two of those games, the Leafs have uh, two of those games, the Leafs have uh, oh, yeah, oh, wait a minute, but the, the Leafs have won four straight, and uh, this month, you know, this month have only lost two bone regulation so okay one and two four two five and two so win leaves have a five two oh no win regulation loss ot loss shootout loss record so in response to the canucks after dark do i see the canucks missing the playoff missing the 2024 Stanley Cup playoffs it's very unlikely they will even drop out of a top three divisional spot yes stranger things have happened you look at the la kings and how they dropped out and they may not even get back in but the orders are vulnerable too so when i look at the leafs among them canucks jets and Oilers, i still see issues coming up let's see the leafs and when they're coming out with the games so wednesday thursday eastern time our respective away games against the against the Yotes and Golden Knights. Saturday Eastern Time against the Avs at Ball Arena. And then it will be going back home to finish off February with home games against the Golden Knights and the Yotes. How many of those games are the Leafs losing? I, you know, I'm nervous. Because in the past, the Leafs have struggled against the Yotes. Well, it's probably it's Golden Knights. Leafs lost an earlier game against the Avs, and that was a that was at Scotiabank Arena. I forget what it was. It was three two, whatever it was four two? Oh, five three. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Sorry. Leafs will end up losing the next game. You know, five, you know, four four two. So back to backs need to be on the ball. So again, the Leafs, I congratulate them, but they gotta be really on the ball against the Yotes. That Yotes team, as badly as it's played, cannot be underestimated. Take a look at the Leafs and how they've done against the Yotes. The next opponent over the over the seasons. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go to So the Leafs. So to go to to do to. It's gonna go and uh, do that. So how the Leafs do against the Yotes? What I like about Wikipedia about all those games, all those articles about the Leafs, leave that. All right, let me just go to. All right, I'm just gonna. Uh, 
All right, sorry about that. What I do is gonna just. <coughs> gonna try here just give me a moment here very sorry about this it's gonna try I'm gonna have to all right it's gonna so how do these play against the Yotes well uh, what are there two losses at home 4-2 away 6-3 that's in record versus the S opponent section. So let me go back to and then we'll gonna go to uh, the you know two seasons ago. Two seasons ago against the Oats, the Leafs got a point via an overtime loss. That was at Scotia Bank Arena. And it was a two one Regulation loss. So it's Peter Morazic, I believe it's Peter Morazic versus Carol V. Melka. And one that, uh, yeah, Leafs didn't find a way to beat the Oats that game. So let me go back. I'm going to, um, going to head on over to the 2019 20 Leaf season. Because that is the first one uh, that it featured. Uh, a season that it ended in the 2020s. So, where did I go here? Alright, let's see here. Oh, come on. Alright, there we go. Alright, so what happened there? So, against the Oats. There. Then the Pacific. They won both. Leafs won, you know, three two in overtime and three one uh, at uh, at the Oats Den Arena. Forget when that was. Here, what I have to do is I'm gonna have to figure out, you know, when these were. So. I'm gonna to go to the, to an ESPN game. So what I'm going to do is um, so I'm gonna to go to yeah. So the Leafs and the road ahead. In terms of the Canucks going you know, far in the postseason, well, we'll have to see. So what I'm gonna do is gonna to go to the regular season. So, when was the last time the Leafs beat the Oats? Alright, so what I'm going to do is going to uh, look for ESPN. So, 21st of November 2019, Leafs beat the Oats 3 1 at the Oats, you know, at the Oats, then I believe it was Gila River. And at home, on February on 11th of February 2020 Eastern Time, 3-2 in overtime. Yeah, that's right. 11th of February 2020 was the last time the Leafs beat the Oats. So this is going to be huge. If the Leafs can beat the Oats, it'll be huge. The only question will be whether they will. That game going to be on Wednesday Eastern Time, brought be broadcast on Sports in Ontario. I have to see what other games there are because as much as I want the Leafs to win, I don't trust them to put up the points. And I believe there's also something uh, as well about the uh, mentioned earlier about um, about you know if the, if the Canucks were to miss, uh, it would it would be the biggest collapse. Well, I don't know if the Canucks were to miss the 2024 Stanley Cup playoffs, it would be the biggest collapse of that team. Um, I don't think that collapse is going to happen. I would say that that is more like to apply to a Leafs team that has struggled with secondary scoring. So before I go, what I would do is is to is to go to let's see to. NHL stats. 
So to go. I'm just gonna go. Well, I don't need this. So I'm gonna uh, kind of. Uh, I'm just gonna do. All right, so I just go, and uh, all right. So let's go to Angel Stats. I'm just gonna see if I can. Uh, Gonna go and do Paul's eyes here. Just gonna. All right. Let me go. Just gonna see what there is. All right. Let me go. I'm just gonna. All right. So I'm just gonna. Have to... All right. Let me just go. You know it takes a while to load. Just gonna see. If there is anything you should be aware of. Alright, let me just go. Alright, I'm gonna do is just gonna uh Alright, so what I'm gonna do is for games that uh alright I'm gonna go to the nineteenth of February of this year. Are you is skaters by game? What I'm gonna do is just go. Hmm. So I'm gonna go to Leafs and all right. Whoops! Whoa. All right. So we go to. Alright, so I'm just gonna go. Just give me a moment here. Alright, just gonna go. Whoops. Alright, I'm just gonna do a flashlight. Alright, I'm just gonna do that. For some lighting here. So. So I'm gonna go to So I'm gonna go to there. So let's see about the Leafs. In a particular game, in terms of points among forwards. And there's no doubt that uh, you know there's no doubt that Marner got the most with three well, uh, via assists, um, Matthews uh, scored a goal and assisted on one. Matt Nyes scored a goal. Ditto for Bob McMahon. Ditto for William Nylander. So yeah, I mean that's, I mean that's you know five players put up points among forwards. So what about overall in that game? So from la you know, you know, in regular season play from October onward. So in terms of average points per game among forwards, the Leafs. So let's see. So we're going to do in terms of um, average points per game of half or more. Max Domi, John Tavares, Mitch Marner, Will Meander, and Austin Matthews. So those are points per game on average. All right, so in terms of close games, Wilson, we have uh, relatively close to our Bob McMahon and Nick Robertson. Uh, averages each of 0.47 points per game. So they're pretty close. 17 of 36. Robertson and Bob McMahon, 14 of 30. Relatively close to half a point per game or more. 
But again, if you look at the game against the Isles, which was, I believe, all right, let's see there. That was the last time Leafs gave up, scored under three goals. So, 5th of February, look at the contrast. Let's go to the 5th of February in that game. So, I'm going to go to that game, going to wrap things up ASAP. But where do the Leafs go after their win over the Blues? Because, you know, they have three more road games left. And then in, in February, it's really about taking it one game at a time. But let's look when... Yeah, let me just go to here. Very sore, it's taking us long. All right, so in that first game, the Leafs barely, you know, the Leafs did not look good in that game. Just gonna, all right, let's go. Uh, no. All right, let's see what happens. Just gonna go there. All right, let's, let's click it. Uh, come on, computer. Let's do this. All right, let's go. All right. All right, let's see if this works. If this doesn't, I may choose to get an accompanying video. All right, let me just go. All right. Due to technical difficulties, I can't properly display. I'll try again. Maybe I'll dress a little bit later. In the meantime, so. Uh, I hate this here. All right, let me just try again. If this doesn't work, what I would do is to try a little bit later. To display what I want to display, which is in the game against the Isles, which players put up points. Just trying to contrast with secondary scoring doesn't deliver. What happens? So I'm just doing this now. I'm just going to try. I do apologize for the slow speed. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, so I'm gonna wrap this up. So we're getting got even long. So if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to that video, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I do highly encourage anyone to do so. Oh wait, and if you um, if you um, click the notification bell, so you'll receive. Um, uh, more time notifications from YouTube about videos that I put out, whether short or long ones. I do try to put out such videos at least weekly before I continue to decide what mentioned there about various points here. So, so look outside the, in terms of forwards, outside the Tavares, Marner, Matthews, and the other quartet. Tavares got two points via a goal assist. Marner a goal, scored a goal. Matthews and Nylander assisted on goals. No other player, no other forward put up a point. So, yeah. The Leafs are very vulnerable. Indeed, they may be the most vulnerable among those Canadian NHL teams that are in playoff spots. So, if the Leafs drop out, it may be because of the lack of secondary scoring. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap this up and say... Go Leafs go, go Raptors go, go Toronto FC go, and respect to other Canadian national teams for which I cheer, go Canada go.